Oh, yeah, so much fun. I, I, I hope everybody feels that way. He's the best. He's the best. He's the funniest. He, he makes me laugh probably more than anyone I know. What I love about Gru Jr. is that, at least in the beginning of this movie, he kind of hates his dad, and they have not bonded yet. <laughs> that period of time where you're trying to bond with your child is very, very funny. And especially because clearly this, this baby doesn't fall far from the tree. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Very, very cute. I practice a little bit for my kids, say, does that sound like it? And they give me the thumbs up, and then I go in. Anyone in this movie, boy, I would, sh probably with Will's character, that was a real, he plays this great villain, and it would be fun to play a different villain in this, because I love, I love his character. I like, I like the minion that can eat things, like, just like chew through brick walls. I think that would be a great superpower. Who wouldn't want to be a part of this amazing franchise with this incredible cast, and, uh, yeah, I just, you know, wanted to kind of, you know, throw my hat in the ring to try to be a part of this uh, amazing Despicable Me legacy. That was uh, immediately the selling point. I've always, that's been on my bucket list, a, a, a French villain. That was always number one. So as soon as I heard those two words, I was in. It's kind of jam-packed. It's there's amazing action. Uh, there's great comedy. It's uh, it's very sweet, um, and it 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 kind of fulfills, you know, all the expectations level that the, that the other three have have kind of established. It's great. One of the things people love, obviously, are the minions. I mean, I love the minions. They're so cute, and I love seeing all the crazy things they do in all the different movies. One of the things I love about playing Margot is just that she's very protective of her two younger sisters and she's also super confident, which I love that about her. Um, and it's just been fun getting to play this character for so long. I started when I was 13 and I'm 30, so it's pretty crazy. I have the easiest job in this movie because it's kind of just my normal voice, but I do kind of try to make it a little younger. I love this movie. I, I'm so proud to be a part of these. Yes, I'm, I'm so happy that people get to see it. There's just something about being a part of this family that I'm like so grateful for and I love Steve and Will and, and Miranda and everybody and I don't know, it's just like coming back to work with the gang again. It was, um, I think, just an elevated version of me who was like um, super energetic and positive. She loves Gru, she loves her job and just working with the directors and trying to find out, you know, what to do. I mean, besides the minions, I, it's so, it's really funny and I think, you know, adults, kids, everyone can enjoy it and um, the music's always really, really good. The music's amazing. So fab. I'm feeling like this is such an amazing day. I can't believe that I'm in this movie. Like, I'm just, I'm so excited. I grew up with these movies. My family loves these movies. I love these movies. And now I get to be in one of them. I'm just so happy. I love my character. I, I play Poppy Prescott, and I just think she's, she's so like casually sinister she's absolutely mad and she's funny i just i like love her so much i like love playing <laughs> she's like a little girl who's just like so villainous and i think that that is so uh, on brand first of all i didn't know what she's gonna look like and then they showed me the rendering and i was like oh my god i like a cute red-headed little girl with braces who has a lisp i'm so excited well, I am Agnes in this movie. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but um, I'm really excited to see myself and all of the other cast members. Like, as soon as I like saw, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be Agnes, and I started screaming, and I like started like running around my room. And it was just so like exciting. Despicable Me is um, a great series, and it's just, it's so silly, funny, and um, it's, it's like, I love all of the villains. 
I'm stoked! <laughs> I play Patsy Prescott. I'm the wife of Stephen Colbert, a suburban, uh, legendary woman, a woman who loves tennis, a blonde, um, and it's a delight. The voice of Patsy lives deep inside of me uh, when I am, it's sort of, she's like a cousin to Meryl Streep, sort of, I sort of I uh, got in touch with the linen side of my personality, the Nancy Myers. Um, yeah, they all live inside of you. Including little minions. I was lucky to see a version of her before I found the voice, so you kind of got to be inspired. You sort of like see the painting and then put the voice on it, you know? It's the dream summer movie. It's literally for everybody. It's joyous. It's fun. It's hilarious. I can't believe I'm in the company of the funniest people in the world. Um, and you'll just have a blast. It's family fun hilarity. I have been trying to pitch myself as a minion on SNL for years. And I kind of was like, well, if you need the voice, I'm here to do it. Um, we always try and write minions things. I think grill. No, I'd say I'd say I'd say minion. Yeah, yeah. I do love the minion. I think I need to like go on a minion journey, and maybe after we're done with this interview, I'll put that costume on and just kind of get to experience what that's really like. I think a few reasons. I think it's very relatable. I always say the movies are basically about career versus family, which we all go through. And of course, you know, they're, they're bigger than life, very, very funny characters as crafted by our writers and of course the great comedic talent that we have voicing them in addition to our animators. Oh, very exciting for me. I mean, some of these people I've wanted to work with my whole career, obviously. Um, as I say, it starts with Steve Carell as the anchor of the whole thing, and that helps us attract other great talent. Um, and, no, it's incredible because a lot of these uh, actors and comedians, we, get, we start with a great script, uh, but they always bring something new to it and just sort of craft this character. And um, it's been so gratifying to bring all these characters to life over the years. We had a thing where the character's name sort of felt like it was French, and so, you know, Will just went right for that. And, uh, you know, a great put-on French accent, there's almost nothing funnier, you know what I mean? So it was just great. I mean, he just got it instantly and then went to town. We want to do what people know and love, but to find something new. So um, it's just been great, you know, trying to find new aspects, even of the Minions, which I think we've done some things in this film that are a little bit different than what we've done in the past. So it's always trying to find something new, and that's kind of the fun, creative challenge, even though we've done a lot of these projects. Given my age, I kind of go with Mega Jerry, indestructibility. 